This short video is going to show the Create Edit Traverse command, which is part of the CGS Civil 3D tools. We came up with the Create Edit Traverse command uh, for those users that are needing to enter um, existing parcel information off of an old plan, something like that. One of the problems that was currently in Civil 3D is that the commands always want you to create this arc at tangential to the last tangent or something. So uh, this is where we came up with. So we go up here to our uh, ribbon and we'll go Create Edit Traverse. And it asks me to select a Kogo point, a polyline, or I can press enter to pick a point off screen. So I'll do that. So I pick my first point. The command comes up showing me my northing and easting. I can pick a, a new location here. What I'm going to do is come over to my settings. I can pick my angle unit. And I can also select my distance type. Now what this distance type is, is when you type in a distance and you want a radius, does that distance represent the chord distance or the curve distance? So we'll leave it in here at chord. And so I'm just going to go ahead and start typing in here. I'll say I want to go at a bearing of 100. I'll say a distance of 100. Okay. I'm not going to put in a radius. Go down here. I'll say go at a bearing of 200 with a distance of 100. Okay. I'll go in here at 300. And I'll, once again, I'll go 100. But this time I'm going to say, well, it's a negative 75, the radius. And I'll lasso go say 340 at a distance of say 50. Okay, what I can do here now is I can go draw. And in the background, you'll see our, our parcel here that we've created. And you can see this where I've come in here and now I've got a radius in here. Okay, so I've got a bearing and then there's my radius and it would be my chord distance. And I can also close this off. I can hit draw. Okay. These commands here is I can insert a new line above or below it, or I also can delete one. So I'm going to go ahead and close here. There it is. And I can also go in here and select this. And it comes up and it shows me all the information about this. So that's where this is at at the moment. But I could turn around and say, well, hang on, that's not really the start point. I need to move this thing right. Um, let's move it right over here. And I go draw. And you'll see there that actually taking that whole polyline and moving it to the new location. 